Hello, this is Peter from the IDR team in the Exploring IDR series. Today I will tell you how to go from gene to phenotypes. We will start by querying images by gene inside the IDR. Very important part of the metadata of the retrieved images are phenotypes and we will go a little bit deeper into that. And lastly, we will uh, study the images in the context of a plate. Starting at the homepage of IDR, the idr.openmicroscopy.org, I will select a search by gene and then start typing KRA. The autocomplete suggestion is case insensitive and so is the search itself. I will select KRAS. KRAS is a gene encoding for small GTPAs from the RAS MAPK family and uh, it's an oncogene. I have retrieved uh, images uh, from uh, varying studies. Uh, I will be interested in study uh, uh, by Roban et al. from the Broad Institute, which overexpressed uh, uh, genes in human cells, um, genes such as KRAS, and then studied the uh, morphological profiles of uh, those cells. Uh, if I click uh, on the more link on the right, I will be navigated into the IDR itself into an environment which we call Omero Web. Omero being the software underlying IDR. On the left hand side are my um, results associated with KRAS. Uh, the first subcontainer of the Roban et al. study is expanded. I can go to the top container and read a bit more about the study itself. Going back to the subcontainer, I can select the first image and zoom in the center pane where there are thumbnails representing those images. Uh, on the right hand side, I have the most important metadata for that image and under attributes in the gene block, obviously I have a gene KRAS. And uh, if I click on this icon, this will lead me to the outer world, to the NCBI database, uh, where I can read more about KRAS if, if I wish so. Going back to the IDR, I can scroll down in the metadata and uh, see that Authors have observed several phenotypes as a result of the KRAS overexpression in the human cells. And one of those phenotypes they call low cell density. This wording was turned into decreased cell numbers during the curation process, uh, aiming for a standardization. Standardization was achieved by the uh, CMPO ontology and the term, um, the Phenotype has the accession number 52. I can click on the icon highlighted and be navigated to the CMPO ontology itself to that particular phenotype decreased cell numbers. Going back to the IDR, I can also choose to click on the CMPO 52 number itself. And this will lead me to another search environment inside the IDR itself. Um, uh, which immediately started a search for all the images associated with the uh, decreased cell numbers uh, 52 phenotype inside the whole of IDR. I selected the, uh, the top level uh, here and on the right hand side I can see that um, the standardization was uh, performed on four different types of wording uh, for similar phenotypes. And this shows the power of the standardization because now I can find all those studies inside the IDR uh, associated with the CMPO 52. If I uh, select the containers, I can see that they are also uh, dealing with different uh, organisms, such as here, this one with Drosophila cell line. Um, I can also continue my search uh, for other phenotypes in this box if I wish so, for example, for elongated cells as I'm doing right now, again, across all the studies inside IDR. If I want to search for some other terms, I can do so by selecting the links on the top. Um, going back to my uh, KRAS results, 
these are images uh, which are coming from a screen, but here they are not shown in the plate. This is because uh, I, only the um, subset of the images associated with Keras is shown. Uh, I can show the images in the context of a plate if I harvest the link in the top right, copy it and uh, paste it into a new tab of my Firefox. This leads me to another view uh, inside the IDR. On the left, there are all the studies inside the IDR. The Roban et al. study is uh, selected for me. I can uh, zoom out in the center pane to show the whole plate of which the well D10 is selected. And uh, that's the well I was in, uh, in my KRAS result. And I can see that I was studying the first image inside that plate as shown on the bottom of the center pane. Uh, there were also other eight images taken inside this plate. If you are interested in uh, exploring uh, gene to phenotypes landscape inside IDR in a more productive and efficient manner using the Omero API. Uh, we will show you how to do it in an upcoming video, which you will find in the Open Microscopy YouTube channel. Uh, until then, bye. Thank you for your attention.